Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another update. I went to the dentist office and had my first soft reline. So I thought I'd do an update. Uh, it's day 14 since the extractions and getting the immediate top denture. And the first um, reline that you get is normally two weeks after the procedure. So I drove an hour and a half to my dentist and got there at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, the office was a little busy, so it took me a few minutes to get back there. But once I got back there, I literally was probably done in maybe 15 minutes or less. Um, what they'll do is they'll take out your top dentures. So plan on when you go to your first soft reline appointment to not wear any adhesive um, and just make sure you know that it's clean because you're going to take it out and let them handle it so that they can do the soft reline. Um, but like I was saying, they'll take it out and they'll put the reline material, which is kind of like the goop stuff that um, they use for the impressions. They'll put it inside the denture and then they'll put it back in your mouth and they'll have you bite down and then they'll have you hold it. And in my case, it's on the top, so... They had me hold it um, in the roof where the pallet is for a few minutes until I guess it can get the um, get it impressioned where it was or um, make sure that it lines up with everything and, and hold that um, mold into your denture. And it is a it's a soft material, so um, you can make adjustments to it if you need to. Um, but after you hold it for a few minutes, they'll take it back out and they'll shave away like the excess material and then they'll just give it right back to you and send you on your way. So it doesn't take very long at all because it's the chair side soft reline. It's not done in the lab. Um, now, my next appointment will be three months from um, three months from the procedure so July 5th is when I'll go back and that will be for the hard reline and that just means that they'll do it in the lab instead of with the soft material they'll do one that actually is like um, it'll change the denture by actually doing like a different um, mold of it and it'll my battery's dying sorry but um, the hard reline will last um, and then I think I go back maybe three months after that to have another soft one on top of the hard. And then um, maybe the next three months will be the actual 12-month um, mark, if I'm correct. And that will be getting the permanent set. So I'm going to do updates, you know, throughout each um, appointment so that I can let you guys know what they do so you'll know what to expect. Um, now with the reline, I was going to tell you guys a few tips when you go. The, um, whatever they use for the reline, it tastes and smells like nail polish remover. So you'll have that smell taste in your mouth, uh, even afterwards. Like now I can get, um, I can still kind of smell it. And I've just tried to drink and eat and stuff to, to get used to the taste or get it to fade away. But um, they did tell me that once you have the soft reline, you're no longer supposed to use the denture cleansing tablets. You're supposed to only use water and peroxide. Um, but I did ask about drinking or eating anything hot, and they said that that was okay. So the only thing you change is what you soak the denture in. And then also, when you're brushing it and cleaning it, you just have to be more careful because of that soft material in there. You don't want to be too rough and make it um, come out of the denture. Um, now, uh, it definitely made it feel tighter in there. Um, it feels tighter in the back, and um, it just feels like, uh, just feels more comfortable with the reline so that's one thing to look forward to um, while they're doing that and you're holding it up into your mouth to get the to get it where it needs to be if you do have like a gagging reflex um, it's kind of the same thing as when you get the impressions that goop kind of runs back 
So just breathe through your nose and um, maybe sit forward because if you do have a problem with gagging or choking, that might be an issue. But it, it you only hold it for a few minutes, so it's not that bad. And then they'll take it out. And um, just rinse your mouth out really good afterwards. It's taste out. Um, and there's probably tips on how to get rid of the taste smell if it's if it gets too bad and you can't bear it. Um, I just had it done, so I, don't, I haven't learned any tips yet. Um, but if I do, I will let you guys know. Um, and I didn't get to talk to my dentist. Uh, he, I'm sure he was there, but where I was just doing the soft reline, the dental assistants are who helped me with it. So I didn't get to ask the questions that I've been wanting to ask since the procedure. But I did ask the, her, the dental assistant, about, you know, I, I never seen any that are like this, how they are in the front. And she told me that he normally does them like this for women because something about, for women, um, gums in the front can deteriorate faster. So I guess if you have, um, if you don't have something covering the gums for a long period of time, then they won't deteriorate as quickly is what she explained to me. So I'll get more details and more info from him when I go back, hopefully, if I get to see him. Um, but that's what they said was the reason for why he makes them like this, and I'm not going to argue with, you know, their why they do it because I like it this way. Um, so hopefully I won't have any problems. I don't know if the permanence will be like this because I didn't get to ask that either. Um, but I go back, like I said, July 5th, so I'll ask more questions than hopefully. But um, as far as the reline today, I think that's all the tips that I had. Um, and if anybody has any questions or um, just anything, um, if you comment, I'll definitely comment back as soon as possible. I normally get a notification and try to comment right away um, as long as I'm not in class. Um, and sorry I took so long today for some that were waiting to do an update at night, but I got back around 12, maybe 1 o'clock, and then I had to go to class and everything, and now my son has pink eye, so it's been a long day, but... I definitely wanted to get this update out because I had a few people that wanted to know more about the reline. And then also, I plan on, um, I can't really take a picture, I don't think, and do anything with it on YouTube. But I'll do like a short video clip or something with the denture out so that you guys can see what exactly it looks like more. Because I know there's not a lot of pictures out with the way that these look. So I'll take a picture for you guys. Um, or upload a video clip of it so that you can get a better um, view of what they look like outside of my mouth. Um, and um, also, if you like watching or um, learning about the process of getting immediate denture, mine's just the top, but I'm sure a lot of this will go both ways with the top or the bottom. So if you enjoy watching, um, if you subscribe or hit the notification bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video posting more information. So if you would like to do that, um, I just like having you guys that are interested and commenting and it just helps to know that there's others out there going through the same process, um, especially ones like me at 28 years old. It's just hard to do it at a young age, so it's nice to have the support and know that there's others out there that are going through the same thing. So thanks for watching, and um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, comment me, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. But thanks.